Morning brothers and sisters, it's been a peculiar weekend for me. Um, I'm still groggy with a cold and flu -y type thing going on, but what terrific fellowship I've had on the live with Frank and Jeff. You know, that's the first two in, and I just want to say that's been absolutely enlightening to find fellowship face to face. But that's another thing, and I will discuss that. It's something we're setting up, but looking at today's and yesterday's news, we, you know, we've got I've got something to share with you at the end of this, really, that uh, I think has been wrongly said, but and wrongly spoken about on YouTube and all over the place, and that's really I'll go into that in a minute, but I just say I'm not I'm not I'm not well this morning again. But another tanker has been hijacked today in the Gulf of Iran. Not today, it was yesterday. Another one, you know. I don't know who's who's gonna jump in at this. This is just getting beyond it now. Where major countries are arguing with each other over oil, you know. Uh, but as I say, I will, I'll speak about something that I've, I've not discovered, I should have discovered. But two mass shootings in 24 hours, nine dead in Ohio. You know, this is major, this is just news now, it's just news stories. There's massive, massive troop movement in Kashmir and the internet is closed there. You know, this is... Uh, this is gathering momentum, isn't it? That's what I can say, because I'm not going to speak so much these days or from from what i know now it's gonna happen tomorrow right you know it could happen tomorrow i'm talking about rapture here now but you know there's a long way to go yet before the end of the seven year tribulation never mind the beginning of the of the tribulation so i this is what i will share in a minute but uh the cafe run by robots in dubai this is no surprise uh ai Hong Kong government issues warning as protests become increasingly violent. You know, it's getting a bit out of hand all over the world, all over the world as in France is slowly sinking into chaos. You know, it's it's happening everywhere with shootings. It's it's I mean, it's not news, is it? Uh, these days for someone to be going off doing things horrifically inhuman, but uh, it is a sign, you know, and the sign, and what I want to discuss is, I got a copy of Mark Taylor's The Trump Prophecies, okay, and I'd, I'd suggest you get one. This man, if you don't know, has prophesied even Trump's election, right, correctly, and there's a lot more to fulfill, um, emptying the pond and the foulness of the government, the UK government, the US government, sorry, I'm not well. The US government, and um, but there is a bright side. He's prophesied that Donald Trump is anointed of God. Now, I don't know, and chosen of God, to do the works he's doing. Now, this is the spiritual side of it. The wall that God wants built, right? The wall that God wants built across the bo southern border of the US is God's will. And it's not just to stop people. It's to stop demonic. And you're saying, oh, this is odd, but you've got to read the book, and it makes a lot of sense. The stuff that's coming from South America into America is demonic attack. <laughs> it sounds, it sounds, it, but it adds up. Now, because the Lord has decided, not decided, he has chosen America as his people. With Israel, blessed nation that's taken out, evangelized, 90% of evangelism has come out of the USA. I find that amazing. Let me have a copy just to calm this down a bit. So there's things to happen. There's a long way to go yet. And we know Trump should get in at the next election, God willing. You know, but praying for our brother Donald, you know, and I say brother Donald because he's within what God wants him to be in i don't know whether he's saved i don't know whether he's born again i don't know but he's certainly anointed of god to be in that place at that time and so america is going to be built up and they're going to be energy free they're going to be they're going to be totally compliant on their own energy i have to cut this uh resource free they all um they are exporting as much as they're importing now in oil you know, things are changing around America. 
things are a changing around big time you are chosen and I want to, this is why I'm saying I don't want to start say the lump here you know, or America will be wiped out and there's big earthquakes and well there is tremors and, and lots of stuff happening in America and that might be to do with the Middle East peace treaty you know so I'm sure the Lord will guide their government after it's been emptied out um, the new governments will come in there'll be people Christian sources coming in to government as God empties out the filth that's in there at the moment that's a bold statement but you must read the book Mark Taylor the Trump prophecies if you're American buy it I'm, not, I'm nothing out of it I will leave a link in the description if I remember for an Amazon on Kindle I brought the Kindle version and I'm now halfway through it after a weekend that's where I've been for the weekend guys I've been reading and absorbing and refreshing my relationship with uh, our Lord Jesus Christ if you want to know who Lord Jesus Christ is, the link will be in the description. Get to know him, guys. If you confess that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you are saved. Why should you need to be saved? A, if you die, you'll end up in hell if you're not. And if, you're rapt if there's a rapture, you'll be left behind. There's two very good reasons. I'm not going to elaborate on that this morning because I'm just not well enough. But pray for me, brothers and sisters. It keeps coming back. This stuff, I've missed it over the weekend. There's two um, lives I've not done and things I've not done. Please pray for me that the channel keeps going. I feel confident that's what wants me. God wants me to do. And I need him to step in and do his will there. So all I can say is God bless you and keep you. Make his face to shine upon you this day and be gracious to you in Jesus' precious name. God bless.